So the art that we are going to be making is inspired by sort of the rainy cloudy days that we've been having, um, but it also includes a lot of different rainbow colors. So you can choose the colors that you want to use depending on what color you might be feeling after you read the story. I'm doing this picture because if you don't have a lot of art supplies at home, you might be wondering how you can make certain art projects. If you have lots of art supplies at home, if you search up rainbow art for kids on Pinterest or Google, you will find lots of different ideas for making rainbow themed art. But the one I will show you today, you should be able to do even if you just have some pencils, crayons, markers, some scrap paper, anything to draw or color on at home. So we are going to start this project uh, by making a shape that we're going to turn into an umbrella. We're going to make an octagon, which sounds kind of scary, but I'm going to show you some ways to do it. You are going to start by making four lines. Okay, you are going to make a line going across this way and then kind of even to it at the bottom you're going to make a line going in the same direction, parallel lines. Okay, now we are going to make two lines on the side, two lines going sideways right in the middle of these two. You're going to make one here and you're going to make one on the other side right across from this one. You might want to practice this a few times just to make sure your lines are straight or even. The next thing we're going to do is draw some diagonal lines. So you're going to draw a line going across and you're just going to connect the places where those other lines met before. Now this is not a perfectly even octagon. I probably could have used a ruler to measure, but that's okay. Now we're going to find what you think to be the closest thing to the middle of your shape that you've made. We're going to draw some lines that all go to this dot in the middle. Okay, so you're going to make a dot and we're going to draw lines to connect them all. So you're going to draw lines as straight as you can make them that go from the corners here, do you see where the two lines meet, to the middle. Feel free to pause this at any time if you need to take it a little slower. Now we have this beautiful octagon shape with all these different triangles. This kind of looks like an umbrella. This is what we're gonna use as an umbrella. We are going to draw someone standing beneath that umbrella and here's how we're gonna do it. You are going to draw sort of a triangle shape. We're gonna make a person's body. So we're not gonna see the head, we'll just see the body and the feet below the umbrella. So we're gonna make sort of like half of a triangle shape. This is going to be your person holding the umbrella. And if you want to make this like a rain jacket, like I'm going to do, I'm going to draw another line that goes up and I'm going to draw some dots to make buttons. Now I'm going to draw this person's feet. Okay, so I'm going to draw two lines down for a leg. Notice I kind of make it on this side so it looks like their coat is kind of blowing. Then I'm going to draw their feet at the bottom. So feet are kind of hard. If you'd rather do stick figures, by all means, you can just draw little lines and make the stick figures. But if you want to do it this way, you make a little bump and we're going to make that line go back across and come up to meet the leg. I'm going to kind of copy those lines to do it again down here. And to finish your rain boots, I'm just going to draw some straight lines across to make rain boots, pants, and a rain jacket. To add to this, we can draw a squiggly line for a puddle. We can add some raindrops. You can add clouds, you can add a whole background, you can add houses in the back, you can add whatever details you would like, but this is just going to be my rainbow inspired rainy scene once I color everything in and I will color that and check back in with you guys. So at this point you can see I am almost done with coloring my artwork. Um, I did my umbrella with all marker just to help it stand out but I'm kind of just gonna mix some crayons and markers for my person. 
You can color your umbrella with stripes or polka dots or make patterns in those triangles. Whatever you feel like you need to do, you can make this your own, make it creative. And the last thing that I like to do is find a place to sign my artwork so that the world knows who made a beautiful piece of art. And that's it. So I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, feel free to, like I said, pause wherever you need to get caught up. Um, feel free to send me pictures as well on Google Classroom or on Class Dojo so that I can see all of the artwork that you made too. If you do make other rainbow artwork, feel free to share that with me. I'd love to be able to send pictures um, out to other teachers so that they can see the awesome work that you are doing. Thanks so much for joining in.